<coughs> yes, Travis. <coughs> Let's have some It's kind of uncomfortable, that. right, when you hear someone cough? Well, what about this one? According to the World Health Organization, six million people are expected to die annually due to smoking. So countries around the world are trying new and unique tactics to get their citizens to stop this bad habit. A Swedish pharmacy recently started its own anti-smoking campaign that features billboards <laughs> that when triggered by a smoke detector literally starts coughing if you're a smoker and you're nearby. <laughs> They've been placed in multiple That's locations, so and, and it's... That's so cool. <laughs> that is cool. She's like, what's up with that? <laughs> it's kind of genius. It's so amazing. It's like innovative. Look at these people. It's hilarious. So he's hanging out, and if you walk by smoking, he starts coughing. <laughs> so... I like it. I love it. It's genius. I, how many times have you done that? You know, to someone, and they yes. send it. So now you have this billboard doing it for you, saying secondhand smoke is a problem. And she's like, "Look, Very he's, he's so innovative." <laughs> and and they're gonna chuckle out of it. So the even the smokers. Is the shaming. Is there any problem, or you know, are smokers being shamed, and do we care? I, you That's know what? I, I think you're walking by there. It seems to me everyone is, <laughs> in a way getting a laugh out of it, but it's also in some ways maybe a subliminal gentle reminder yes. that, look, smoke has deleterious effects not just on the smoker, but, but secondhand, secondhand smoke yeah. can lead to respiratory diseases, cancer, amongst other things. So it's, I think it's a good reminder. I don't think it's shaming because... I think it's great. I think, I, think we, I think we all love it. I think we love it. You know, it's interesting because... There's so little smoke now when you're out in public spaces. Just this last weekend, I called an Uber, hopped in the car, and the guy was smoking. And it was, what's crazy is how much the tide has turned over the last couple of decades. He can't, he can't, it's not well, that's the thing is, I, I, I was just, I was a bit in, in shock because I had not encountered that before. And because it, it has become one of those things where because of all these public service campaigns, most smokers are incredibly cognizant of secondhand smoke, and, and it's really changed people's mindsets, I well, think, for the do better. It very privately. And, they won't even do it in public. Well, and, and I've always said, at the end of the day, we live in a free country, and as long as your actions aren't harming someone else, you can and should do what you want. Did you tell him you wanted another car? Well, so, he, no, you know, that was the thing is, and I actually have asthma <laughs> so I get in the car and I didn't notice it at first but it smelled and then, and then, and then he's like do you want me to put it out all day long yeah. I mean the second in smoke the smell I hope you said yes well oh, yeah of course I did but the whole the whole drive I, I tried to roll down the windows and then he would shut it because it was cold out. but it got me to thinking about how far as a society we have evolved because 10 years ago you'd walk into a restaurant or a bar and it would be smoke filled yeah. and it's now that you're not exposed to it and i think smokers would even agree with this you're 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 not used to the smell anymore so when you, when you it's unreal i couldn't believe it and i couldn't believe that even as of a decade ago i would normally walk into a bar and smoke's there and i didn't even think twice about it it makes you realize how powerful that smoke is and why these messages, I think... But how powerful the campaigns have been, too. Yeah, think absolutely. about all the anti-smoking campaigns. They've worked.